Hello everyone, my name is Andrew and uh, I'm going to make a tutorial about how to create uh, menus and submenus uh, with PHP and MySQL. So uh, it will look uh, like this one here, more or less. So not exactly, but you get the idea. So this service here is the uh, root uh, menu and these other ones here are the submenus and this below this office support here are the submenus of this office support this is of course this is just an example these are not real categories so let's go ahead and create a database table I've already created a database called testings on my server PHP my admin uh, my SQL I'm gonna call it menus or okay menus I'm gonna add three columns I'm gonna call the first one ID integer auto increment primary second one I'm gonna go menu name will be a varchar of 150 characters long the last one will be called parent ID so this is a uh, here will be sto we will store the uh, value of the ID of the parent menu it will be integer like the ID like the field ID so we'll go ahead and save this and then I'm gonna reload menus gonna insert some records so the first one is gonna be home here the value uh, I, I'll insert here a value of zero uh, for me this uh, zero you can place whatever you want here but for me this zero means that this is a root menu so it is not a it doesn't have any parent uh, parent menu about then zero again go uh, let's browse but to make things even easier I'm gonna go to the structure and make this parent ID I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna assign it a default value of zero so uh, so every time that I insert a new record it will take a default value of zero so I, uh, so I don't have to input this zero here every time okay I'm gonna actually gonna add some more menus like services and contact go browse and voila this parent ID took the value of zero by default so let's go here so this is a menu that is uh, hand coded in HTML this is not very practical this might be practical for small sites but you can uh, imagine that uh, you might want to add or remove menus and sub menus so it is not a very good practice to delete and edit the HTML you might screw up the code so it is better if you control it from the database so we're gonna create a I'm, I'm gonna create a new file you might do it in one file if you like I'm gonna call it functions dot PHP let's open this functions delete the code in here then I'm gonna include this file right above all of the HTML code include functions.php let's check for uh, any errors reload no then we're good to go let's go to the functions and we're gonna connect to the database I'm not gonna explain how to connect to the, to the database because uh, I assume you already know how to do that if you are if you aren't interested in this kind of tutorial so you uh, already have the knowledge how to do that 
connect. Blank password, MyTag, MySQL, error, MySQL, select DB, testings, or die, MySQL, error. Just a basic PHP code. And then I'm going to create a function to display all the rows or menus you call it from the table I'm gonna call this function display menus we're gonna query the data SQL query so, sorry supply all from menus or die my sequel error and then we're gonna check if there is any record so if my sequel um, rows query so if it returns greater than it is greater than zero so if we have any row then we're gonna do an echo echo ul sorry ul and we're gonna close this html list then between these two opening and closing tag of the ul we're gonna loop all of the records that are stored in our table so row equal to MySQL fetch array query. So we're gonna loop all of this data that we have found in this query variable that are stored in this query variable right here. We're gonna do echo live row menu name closely alive. Now let's see here, test for errors, we don't have any. So I'm going to display this function just above the HTML menu that I created. So copy this here and I'm going to paste it in here. Let's see if we are okay. Okay, so it's not styled but this is enough to see that we are uh, we're okay we're getting all the records from the database and displaying them correctly so i'm gonna collapse a little bit of code right here because it's too long and it's occupying all of my screen display menus but now what i want to do is i want to get with the same function I want to get even the submenus and check if there is any submenu for each of these menus. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I will write a default, a default value right here. I'm going to pass a variable. I'm going to call it parent ID, and I'll give a default value of zero. So this parent ID here, I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go where parent ID. So our parent ID is equal to this parent ID. So for the moment, what we are seeing now is where the parent ID is zero. So let's go ahead and refresh. We'll see all of all of these functions, of this uh, I'm sorry, these menus, because all of these menus have the parent ID of zero. So it doesn't have any parent menu as we can see what we're gonna do is 
we're gonna list some services below this service services menu so let's insert now I'm gonna call the first uh, let's see this is an with ID 3 I'm gonna copy this ID I'm gonna insert uh, services let's say for example online services for the moment I'm gonna make it zero online services and let's say family services let's go ahead and add let's browse we can see that these are all uh, all in the same line refresh this reload we see that uh, these two online services and family services are equal to these other menus also because they don't have any parent category the uh, parent ID is set to zero but now what I want to do is these two menus I want to display them below this services menu so these here are gonna be sub menus to these services here to this menu services here so let's go ahead and change the value this parent ID value of these two these two last menus so add it of this three because it was three you see now this the ID of services because becomes the parent ID value and this one two edit three go now if you go here and refresh the page you will see that these two last menus will disappear from the screen because here we said that it will display the rows where the parent ID is equal to this parent ID which has the value with which has the default value of zero so this is working very well now what we want to do is display those two below the services and how we're gonna do that is we're gonna break this code right here echo this below and that and then I'm gonna go I'm gonna do a very very simple code I'm gonna copy this display menu menus and I'm gonna call the function itself inside the function itself but this parent ID now from zero will keep the will get the value of row ID so now it's gonna check each time let's make it a little clear row ID so for a moment let me cut this out so reload now what this is going to do right now is is going to check it's gonna so the function will call itself and it's gonna check if there is any row with the value of row ID of this that this parent ID will be equal with this row ID so let's go ahead and paste this save refresh and voila everything is working fine as you can see uh, this now are displayed as sub menus of these services but uh, this is just a simple so uh, this is just one level but if you like you can make it whatever level or you like there are no limitations on doing this for example I will take this idea of five online services 
and I'm gonna make I'm gonna create another menu and I'm gonna call it for the names are not important five make this five make this five go and voila you see you don't have uh, now you don't have to code every time that you want to change everything now uh, to code the uh, in HTML what you have to do is just add a new item a new row or new menu whatever you want to call it in the database and the records will be displayed will be rendered as HTML right here so What we're gonna do now is just for the sake of the tutorial to make this menu look uh, more like this one right here is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comment all of this menu HTML menu out I'm gonna cut this display menu from here and I'm gonna paste it right below this commented HTML menu. I'm gonna refresh and as you can see this works more or less looks more or less like this example right here. Now we could add for example links like edge ahref right here and uh, then close it for example right here sorry about that mm, I don't know what's happening let's refresh okay ref equals to so this is a dummy link, doesn't take you anywhere. Okay. Save. Okay, now these are all links. So assuming that you have uh, actual pages right here. So that's it. This is a very simple uh, way. You can extend it even further. And I hope this helps you for, I don't know, coding PHP or making new websites. So, thanks for watching.